Welcome top news today. CBS News Magazine 60 Minutes will air an interview with Stephanie Clifford who appears in pornographic films under Stormy Daniels on March 18th, prompting President Donald Trump's lawyers to consider legal action against the network. Any preemptive action against the network is likely to fail, though a preliminary restraining order binds Clifford to silence. An unnamed source with knowledge of the Trump legal team's plans told BuzzFeed News they hope to stop the interview's publication and will seek an injunction barring the broadcast. Also watch Meghan McCain light up the view on the Stormy saga. We understand from well-placed sources they are preparing to file for a legal injunction to prevent it from airing, the source said. Anderson Cooper, who is correspondent for the program in addition to his CNN duties, conducted the interview. Though Trump's lawyers affect an aggressive posture, often they do not ultimately pursue legal action, the BuzzFeed report noted. Mark Kasowitz, longtime counsel for the Trump family, threatened to sue to the New York Times for publishing excerpts of the president's 1995 tax return during the 2016 campaign. The returns were published and no lawsuit ever came. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders revealed March 7 Trump's lawyers won a preliminary restraining order against Clifford during private arbitration in late February 2018. The order forbids Clifford from disclosing any information relating to the October 2016 hush agreement between her and Trump attorney Michael Cohen. Michael Avenatti, Clifford's lawyer, said he does not consider the February 27 decision valid. The order does not preclude her from answering general questions about herself in the press or addressing other matters the Hush Agreement did not mention. The contract, known as a non-disclosure agreement, was executed on October 28, 2016. Clifford agreed not to disclose her alleged affair with the president from summer 2006 to early 2007 under its terms, in exchange for a $130,000 payment from a Delaware shell company. Any effort to suppress the interview in advance is unlikely to succeed. The preemptive restriction of speech is called prior restraint, and federal courts have long considered it unlawful on constitutional principles. A 1976 U.S. Supreme Court case, Nebraska Press Association v. Stewart, unanimously noted the presumption against prior restraint is stronger than any other speech restriction. The thread running through all these cases is that prior restraints on speech and publication are the most serious and the least tolerable infringement on First Amendment rights, the ruling showed. Follow Kevin on Twitter send tips to email protected. Content created by the Daily Caller News Foundation is available without charge to any eligible news publisher that can provide a large audience. For licensing opportunities of our original content, please contact email protected. Tags 60 Minutes, Donald Trump, Stormy Daniels.